Hi, in this video I'll show you how to create a proper table for addresses out of a one column address list. Let's say for example you get a one column address list. You have your first name, last name, and then you have your address, city, state, zip code, phone number, and you want to turn it, and that's all in one column, you want to turn it into like a proper table where you can maybe do a mail merge. Well, we can actually do this quite easily in Power Query to convert it into this format instead of trying to copy and paste it individually. Now, this is a short list, but if you have a long list, this will make it so much more easier. So let's see how we do this. I go to sheet one here. I've got my list here of uh, three uh, records. Select anywhere in there. I'm going to turn this into table first. Press Control T to turn it into table. My table doesn't have headers. It will automatically add a header there, right? So it automatically adds column one. That doesn't matter. What I need to do now is go under data, go uh, from table, and it's going to open up the Power Query window. Now what I want to do here is I want to add two additional columns to this. Uh, first, I've got my add column here. I'm going to add an index column that starts from zero, right? And we see that in our address, we have uh, seven particular attributes of the address. First name, last name, two, three, four, five, six, seven, all the way down to the phone number. So we're going to have a column here where we're going to add the modulo feature, right? So I'll hover over this so you can kind of read what it does. Let's see if we can uh, get this to come out again. All right, so it's going to create a column that contains the values of the first selected column modulo and the values of the second column. So basically, I'm going to set, select the modulo 7, and it's going to divide these indexes by 7, 0 divided by 7, and it'll give you the remainder. Basically, that's what it's doing, it's giving you the remainder. Now, 0 divided by 7, 0, 1 divided by 7, uh, we'll see what it figures out. All right, so let's create that. And uh, it's going to let us select the value. We have, we have seven because we have uh, seven attributes of our particular address list. Click OK. And here with the module column, what we're going to do is we're going to pivot this column and have all these figures, all these particular parts of the record below it. So this is going to be seven columns, zero to six. And it's going to pull these six parts of the record across the columns. Go to Home. Select modulo, that's selected, and what we want to do is transform, and we're going to pivot that column. And we're going to pivot the modulo column based on the values of column one here. And we don't want to aggregate it, so we select don't aggregate, click OK. And now we're almost there, but you see that the name and the address is kind of broken out into separate rows, and we want to pull those into all into one row. So with the pivot column, we're going to fill up. And we, we want everything on that first row there, right? Oh, let me select out of that. So we want everything to go up to that first row. We want to fill all this up to that first row. So I'm going to select from, because this is already on that first row, so I don't need to fill up from here. So I'm going to select column 1, press the Shift key, the column 6, and select Fill Up. All right, so now it's filled it all the way up. And all I need to do is get rid of the nulls here. So I don't need those nulls anymore. Click OK. I mean, deselect that null. Click OK. And now I've got my records. I don't need the index anymore. Right click, remove. And now I'll just type in the names for each of these columns. Double click that. Uh, first name. Double click that. Last name. And double click this address, city, double click that, press city, double click that, state, double click this one, uh, zip, and double click this one, phone. Oops, double click it, phone. All right, so I've got everything there. And go back to home, click close and load, and now it's going to put that all into a separate worksheet, and I've got my addresses kind of all laid out in a nice column format as it should be and then I can do a mail merge from there so that's the way that we can take addresses that show up in a one column format and put it into a proper column table format where we can do a mail merge so I hope that helps thanks for watching